Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 16th of 2021. Well, it is titled Love and War by Moonlight. So what do we see here? Well, a nice scenery taken in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And what we see are several different objects within our own solar system. So the three brightest objects seen in the sky here are within our solar system. And that includes things like the crescent moon down towards the bottom center of the image. And we can see the thin crescent point illuminated there. And the illuminated portion you can see points down towards the sun below the horizon. So we can see the sun was below the horizon here just after sunset and the crescent moon just setting. Now you'll note that you can see the entire moon illuminated there the bottom portion very bright and the rest much fainter and the rest of it is shining by what is called earth shine. Earth shine occurs when light from our sun strikes the Earth then bounces to the moon and then back to Earth. So it's not being directly illuminated by our sun, but instead is being indirectly illuminated by light that has first struck Earth. And that allows us then to see the entire moon, even though the portion of it is most of it in this case is not directly being illuminated by the sun. Now up above we see the a third brightest object in the sky and that is the planet Venus. Uh, the brightest object in our sky is of course the sun not visible in this image followed by the moon and then the planet Venus the next brightest object that we see. It is now prominent as the in the evening uh, sky Venus being closer to our sun than Earth that looks like either a morning star or an evening star depending on which side of the sun it happens to be. And right now and for uh, a little while now the rest of this year it will appear as the evening star in the sky. So a bright object seen in the west just after sunset will indeed be the planet Venus. Now a little harder to pick out here is the planet Mars just up and above and slightly to the left of Venus here. Mars much uh, much fainter as a much smaller object than Venus and is a little further away as well. So it does not shine as brightly as the planet Venus. It's also not as reflective Venus being covered in clouds reflects a lot of light towards Earth and Mars does not reflect near as much. Now shortly after this picture was taken just a couple of days later Venus and Mars passed relatively close together and in fact about the diameter of the moon. So you can see now imagine the moon put up there that there are a couple moon diameters maybe between the two planets. However a couple of days later they were within one moon diameter and they have since then begun to spread apart more. So as the planets move in their orbits they make paths through the sky and will sometimes come closer to each other and further away from each other as they move through the sky. And that's how the planets got their original name as wanderers. They wandered through the sky unlike the stars which kept the same pattern from year to year and decade to decade. You could see the same patterns of the constellations. However the planets the five objects known to the ancients Mercury Venus Mars Jupiter and Saturn wandered among of these constellations and therefore got their separate designation as planets. So that was our picture of the day for July the 16th of 2021. It was titled Love and War by Moonlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the owl in the moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.